My name is Nicole Eddy and I'm a photographer and videographer from Cape Town, South Africa. I am extremely excited to present you with this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial for beginners. For any of you that happen to be familiar with my content, you will know that I am no professional editor by any stretch of the imagination. So you may or may not be able to tell, but I'm actually sitting in my apartment, which covers as my working space. This really highlights the bare minimum that you need in order to create and get a video out there to whoever, to the public, for your friends and families, for yourself. You need a decent enough workspace, a laptop on which you can edit, a hard drive, at least this is where I store my footage on, as well as your editing software, in which case I use Adobe Premiere Pro. The piece of footage that I will be editing in this tutorial is a little surfing montage that I put together and you can find the link to that full video in the description below on my channel. But for now, I'm going to quit waffling and let's get straight into the tutorial. Open up Premiere Pro and then we're going to create a new project. We are going to call that project uh, Adobe Tutorial. Okay that, don't worry about any of this. And this will create the new project. But now what we want to do is first import the clips. You can obviously go file, import. The shortcut as it says there is command I. Hit command I. And on my desktop, I already have a editing tutorial folder. These are the files that I'm going to be using. I'm just going to import them all. And once it's imported, that will pop up over here. Okay, so under here, project, Adobe tutorial, you can see that we have the four folders that I've imported in here. This is what we're going to be working on. This is called our timeline. The source in the program will, will make sense to you now. This is my effects column. Um, I have created a new folder called faves, uh, favorites. And these are the ones that I use on almost every video. Before you start editing, you want to have a rough idea in your mind of how your finished video will look. So for example, this video, I wanted to open with drone footage, kind of that establishing shot and then from there, switch between Luke's GoPro footage of me surfing, flick that between my GoPro footage, you know, point of view, and then the drone. We will open up the drone bin. This over here, let me just widen this workspace for us. So this is 29.97 frames per second FPS. This is the drone footage that I would like to use first. It's a wide establishing shot of the location that we are at, setting the scene. This is your source monitor, right? So by clicking play or the space bar, does the same thing. This is your entire drone clip that was filmed. So I just want that little bit. This is called your in. Your in is your starting point. The shortcut for this is I. If you tap I, it will cut from that point. Space bar plays it through and I want up until there, for example, you are gonna press O, which outs this. As you can see, it's just selected this little bit here. That's the only bit I want. You can drag and drop. So obviously the drone has no audio. You drag, put it into your timeline, and bam, your timeline has begun. So this is where you can cut, where you can make your selects. This is your program. This is your playthrough, right? So clicking space bar this plays what you've got on your timeline so far the source only plays the clips that you have individually selected now this is when personal editing preferences come into play i like to choose a song beforehand and edit to the song i like to edit the beat so i already have picked out a song many of you guys ask where i get my music from you can scroll through uh soundcloud sometimes i get emails some really kind people send me music but mostly i actually just use a program called epidemic sound the song that i am using i'm going to import it on here right now i downloaded it and it is called teenage lullaby i'm going to drag and drop this onto my timeline this is A1, this stands for audio. V1, this is your video. I like to drop my music down one. 
generally I like to use some sound effects of water or GoPro or something and I keep this A1 open for exactly that. Another thing I like to do off the bat is to immediately decrease my music levels by three. I usually stick to minus three. I'm just going to show you the shortcut of how to decrease the volume of something. You press command L. Uh, adjust gain by, I'm going to type in negative three decibels, click OK. That is your effects. That FX, once it goes yellow, it means that you have put effects on this clip. So now we want maybe another drone, maybe this, this, oh, I like that because it sets the scene on the beach. This is where we are. I'm going to end it here because I want some beach in there. We're going to zoom up over to the rocks where the waves are. I'm going to out it. That's the selection I want out of the entire clip. I'm going to push comma and the comma is automatically going to insert it in here. Immediately as you insert this clip in here, it separates the audio or whatever is below it. So I'm just going to drag that back and join it back up. How I like to edit when I have music in place already is lock wherever my music is. So this means that no matter the changes that I make above, it will not affect this bottom bit. Here. Okay, so after this drone footage, I think I want to change it up. I want to add some GoPro footage of me walking down to the beach. As you can see, this GoPro footage I filmed at 120 frames per second, 119.88 FPS. You might be wondering, well, how do I actually play that back in slow-mo? Because when I play it back, it's playing back at normal speed. This is what you want to do. You want to right click, go to modify, interpret footage, and then you want to assume this frame rate, 30. Click OK. And now when we play it back, It's playing back super slow mode. I want the shot of us walking down to the beach. I'm gonna skip all of this. Here we go, this looks about right. I turn back and smile somewhere, happy times. So maybe that. And we wanna cut on that beat. So from here on out, I would then continue selecting the clips that I want to use, edit according to the music, according to the beats, according to the different drops, and then slowly build up my video. From there, I will kind of neaten it up, make sure that it is in time with the music, and then add my effects onto it. I'm going to be starting with something called a cross dissolve. I'm sure you might be familiar with this. Basically, it just means kind of uh, cross dissolving one clip or frame into another. Uh, if you're confused by what that means, this is it. So, for example, in this video, I don't want the clip to automatically start. I want to fade it in with a bit of black. So what I'm going to do is click Find Cross Dissolve under my favorites, because it's something I use often. And as you can see, this makes your program screen black and it cross dissolves that drone footage in. At the bottom here, the reason why I've kept this blank and moved the music further across to the right is because I'm going to be using some sound effects such as ocean. So it will not, my video will not immediately start with music. It will start with the sound of seagulls and some ocean sound effects, the sound of waves, and then the music will start from there. So another favorite effect that I will use on my videos is something called dip to black. This is a little bit self-explanatory. I usually only use it when I'm ending off a video. If, for example, this GoPro clip was the last clip of my video, I will add the dip to black on here. And there we go, you ease it out. Obviously, I'm going to delete that because that's not the last clip of my video. We're still in the beginning phases. In terms of the audio, when I'm wanting to end off a video as well, or a specific piece of music, I will put exponential fade on the end. So just for reference sake, I'm going to drag exponential fade onto the end of here. And this slowly fades the music out. I'm going to drag that along to postpone the fade. Otherwise, it's a bit too sudden. And this is what it will sound like. A couple 
couple of shortcuts that I think are really helpful in Adobe Premiere Pro is firstly what you will live for is the Q and the W. So what the Q does is cut from the front of a clip. Let's use this drone clip for example. Say I actually don't want this bit of the clip. What I can do is click Q and that deletes anything to the left of this blue cursor. I'm going to undo that, Control Z, Command Z rather, but say I want to delete everything to the right of this cursor. So this is the only thing that I want to keep on the timeline. I click W and there we go, it deletes everything to the right. Command Z, I'm going to undo that because I want that entire clip. So Command Z, Q and W and your I and O for your in and out when you're making your selects on your source monitor are some of the most important shortcuts that you will be using in Adobe. So I think that covers all of the very basic beginner things on Adobe Premiere Pro. It is such a fun and easy platform. I absolutely love it. Uh, editing is definitely a favorite part of, of uh, creating videos for me. I think it ties the whole story together. And this is kind of where the magic happens. I still have a lot to learn and a lot of time to put in. Please let me know if you have any comments or queries about using Adobe Premiere Pro or you want to find out something specific, please just leave your questions in the comment section below. I promise you I will get back to every question that is there and I will help you as best as I can to the best of my knowledge. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic week and I will see you soon.